If you had the choice between learning how to do some really great prompts and even create your own custom GPTs so that you don't have to remember prompts, maybe even create a mini app for one specific part of your business. You want to spend 2026 doing that or would you like to hire as many employees as you need to do all of the important tasks that you would normally do the way that you would do it based on your business, your experience, your customers have it all done for you just by handing it off to an employee or employees so that you could be the boss as opposed to you be doing the work. Well, I want to show you how easy that is and get you ready for 2026 because agents, agent skills are where it's at. I think this is going to completely disrupt everyone's business, but especially the education business because this is that one piece that tipping point that allows anyone without technical skills that just has great ideas and wants to be able to share and teach so that they have a system or employees to do as much work as they need that is part of running their business. Now, I'm going to show you my 17 employees that I created over the last 48 hours. I'm going to show them, uh, show them to your work. And every time I go through this, I want you to compare if I had to do this myself, using prompts or custom GPTs or actually going through in a chat using an AI tool. If I had to do this or if what I'm showing you is I handed off something to an employee, which do you want to focus on and which should you focus on? If you know that this is available today, the 30th of December 2025, and that in the next three to six months, this is going to be so commonplace. If you're not doing this, you're going to get lost. And I'm that sure of it because what the demo I'm going to show you and the little cheat sheet I'll leave with you, this is what I did uh, or my employees did in about a minute and a half to two minutes. I basically had uh, a YouTube video analyzed. I had a chat converted to the anal analysis and the actual chat I was having here with Claude. I had it converted to an SEO optimized blog post from another employee. I had that employee post it directly to my WordPress site as a blog post that was SEO optimized, had the information, tags, categories, everything set up, marked as draft. I had another employee go to my CRM or my email marketing automation and create an email marketing series, multiple emails written for me and scheduled a day apart with links to and announcements about the blog post that was done. I also had another employee that was able to go and create social media posts about the blog post and have them scheduled on my social media posting service. And that is just the start of it. I created 17 different agents, all with their certain set skills. And I now have these agents available to me and you can too. And this is how it works. And then I'm going to show you the steps to get going. I'm going to do as many videos as I can over the next couple of days because I think it's that important. And I'm not overly technical. Creating the skills isn't hard. The other piece that I'm going to show you is something called MCP connectors. And just think of it that if you're using Claude in this case, you can basically say to Claude, hey, I want you to take the work that we're doing here and I want you to use this tool with an MCP connector and either add, update, or maybe pull some data down and work on it. But it's basically external tools that it has access to. So I've got employees with tools. They're all great at their job. And now I'm the boss. I'm not doing the work, figuring out, prompting that stuff. I'm just saying, hey, I want this employee to do this. And I want it to take the work, make sure that the other employee has it. And I want the other employee to do it. So you just got to figure out what employees that you want and what are the processes or steps that you need to start, build and grow your education business. And remember any business uh, for that matter. So I'm doing a couple things here and I'll show it to you just when we go through this. I'm using Claude, not Claude code, but Claude, which you are going to need right now. Uh, and in this particular case, as far as I know, I'm going to say this right now, you do need the paid version of Claude. Uh, when I'm saying this right now, having said that MCP is an open standard and the skills that I set up with Claude here, those agent skills is an open standard as well. So, um, and, uh, ChatGPT has said they're 
going to do both of them. It's just not available in ChatGPT yet, but it is in Claude and ChatGPT said, yeah, we're going to be doing it as well. So here's what happened. The first employee I had was, uh, I have YouTube videos on a regular basis and part of the process and the employees that I wanted for that is it's like, if I do a YouTube video, uh, I want to be able to have the transcript and I want to be able to repurpose it or use it, whether they're for courses, lessons, guides, anything in my educational business. There's a lot of great content in YouTube videos and in mine or other people's, yourself or other people's, you can use that and repurpose it as long as it's answering the questions or helping the people you're trying to help. In my case, an employee said, you know what? My employee is the uh, transcript analyzer, this one here. And I said, hey, I want you to go to this video and I want you to do your work, which I gave it in the skill because it's an employee. I gave it a set set of skills and told it what I want it to do, how I want it done, why it's important, who it's for, what my business is all about, my brand, that kind of stuff. And it basically put together what I asked for, which was three things, which is I asked for every time from a transcript. Give, I want a human readable content brief based on the transcript. I want a machine readable brief that other automations or tools or skills in this case, other employees can use. And then I just want the raw transcript. So I gave the job to that first employee. It just went and did it. Cool. I got all the information that's here. And if you actually look on the right hand side here, these are all available as I can look at them. These are all available as those content briefs that I asked for. So I have all three of them that are here. It did the work, did a great job. I've taught it how to do it. I gave it all the resources, ways that are done. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, one of the things that I want to do from here is I was going, you know what? Um, in my case, I kind of want to have a blog post of that transcript and the stuff that's been going on here. So what I did is uh, I want you to take my chat to educational post skill. I got another employee that's really, really good at taking these transcripts of things and creating educational content from it. So I basically said, hand it off. I had the content, those three pieces I just said to this other skill said, hey, I need you to basically create some educational content from that. And in fact, that's what it did. It created a 1200 word blog post for me. And that blog post is focused on SEO. And in fact, I even got a community post created from it and a featured image prompt. So it wrote the post because that employee is really good. I gave it the skills to do it, how I want it done, what size, format, everything that's in it. One employee did work, handed it off to the second employee. I've not prompted. I'm just looking, I'm the manager. I'm just checking to see, is this what I want? Is this the way I want stuff done? Yeah, absolutely. Now, it asked me here, it said, you know what? Um, we've done this work. You've got the blog posts. What do you want to do with it? Do you just want to publish them as a blog post or maybe into the community, your fluent community? Uh, do you want to review or make some edits? Do you want to just, you know, preview the big picture or do you want to save as drafts? And I said, well, you know what? I want to save it as a draft. So I said to that employee that did the work, I said, you know what? Here's a tool that you have access to, which is my WordPress MCP connector. And I said, you know what? I want you just to post it as a draft for me. So employee given access to the tool, MCP connector, and that's exactly what it did. Uh, put the track, Claude add appropriate categories and tags, and this is what I got. I got a post added to my WordPress site. It's got the title, word count, full blog post, SEO X optimized and excerpt, custom uh, metadata. It's got the draft. It's got the post for a featured image. Publish when ready. Content highlights. All of this stuff is there. So what happened? Let's go take a look. Uh, if I go to my website, you can now see that I have as a draft here, I've got my blog posts. It's there properly formatted. It's identified any of the steps that are there, the key teaching moments, what it means for my market, and the framework that needs to be applied moving forward. So just about think what happened here. I got a couple employees at work with tools, a whole bunch of stuff is done for me, 
How long did it take me to do this? A couple seconds to actually ask my two employees to do the work. It's marked as draft. I haven't given it the okay yet, but that's done. I didn't use a custom GPT. I didn't go look for a particular prompt. I didn't go cut and paste stuff from different places to let one tool know or one particular chat know that I did this in one and this is what I want to be done next with it. I'm in one chat, two employees and a tool. Um, one of the other things that I really do after this, remember I was talking about, you know, when I have these particular pieces, uh, I like to do an announcement, right? I got a list of people. They may not know about the blog post uh, or a YouTube video that I've done, but in this case, I created a blog post. Probably be a good idea to actually have an email go out to everyone on my uh, email list and say, hey, I just did a brand new blog post. It's about this. Here it is. Here's the link. So that's what I said. I said to my employee, use my video announcement skill, which is a new employee, one of the ones I created in the last 24 to 48 ounces, um, schedule an email to my list about the new blog post. Now, that skill is pretty smart, but it was designed for video announcements. But when I asked it, it said, hey, you know what, please um, let me use your video skill. But it said, I see the skill is designed for YouTube videos, but I can adapt it perfectly to blog posts. And exactly what it did. It created two emails because that employee knows that anytime I send out an announcement, I want an announcement and a follow-up email a day apart. Those are the instructions that I gave that employee. Also the formatting, the structure, the call to action, where the links are. I gave it instruction. It knows what I want every time and it only does the way it, I want it done because that's my employee. Here we go. Perfect. Two email campaign created in Fluent CRM, which is my tool that this employee wrote the emails and it has access to that connector, that tool. So what it did is it created two campaigns in my CRM, which are here and they're scheduled a day apart. Subject lines, preview text, draft, the templates that are used. All of this is part key messaging, what the performance targets are and the next steps. They're all available for review. And if I want to, I can go take a look and see what was actually put together. And uh, we're there, all set up. Email body, all of the pieces that are there. This was all created in my CRM. I've done nothing. That employee's done a bunch of great work. I'm really happy looking at it. I can send it right away. But, you know, the other thing that I really like to do is whenever I am doing something as an announcement, not only do I want to have an email sent, I really would like to have some social media posts done for me. So I have an employee for social media uh, and his name is the social media content skill. So I said, you know what, use my social media content skill to create five Twitter posts for this blog post and schedule them to Saturday start in January. Um, I just handed it off. It knows what's in the emails. It's know what's in the blog. It knows what's in the transcript. I'm in the same chat. All of the employees are talking to each other. They know exactly what to do. No prompts, no cut and paste, none of that stuff. And basically it just says, uh, hey, here we go. Created and scheduled for January, 2026. Here's my prompts. And they're all scheduled, makes sense. And I've got all of this done and made available to me. So let's take a look. Here's all of the different pieces that are in place here. All of this work is done. My employee's kind of there. I'm really happy with it. It's scheduled, it's ready to post. It's got links to the blog posts and emails. So I'm looking at this. I showed you maybe in 15 minutes. It only took them under five minutes for this to run. So if I'm having this conversation with you in, three months or four months, and you're figuring out how to do a prompt and create a custom GPT, or use a whole bunch of apps and connect them together, or if you have as many agents as you want, and you've identified what are the tasks that your employees should do, what are the processes that should be automated or used with multiple employees, 
If you focus on that, how many more blog posts are you going to have? How many more course lessons? How many more uh, students are you going to be able to talk to? How many more quizzes are you going to create? How much less work are you going to be doing? How much more marketing can, have you going to be able to be done? It's you doing the work versus agents doing the work. And I'm going to suggest that if you think about you doing work the old way from 2025 and you forget about agents, you're going to be in an absolute disadvantage. This is going to disrupt everything. So we need to get on top of it. I'm focusing exclusively on these agents and agent skills. And there's a couple secrets why. One of them's coming out in January from Claude. And it's really about having a manager take care of your employees. So stay tuned to the channel, like and subscribe. If you haven't already, go to trainingsites.io forward slash join and join. All of my content is there. It's free. It's available for you. I'd love to see what you're working on. And more importantly, the community and other members are there. And again, all of my content's there for you, help you start, build, and grow an education business. So stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to show you how to create these employees. And then we'll start creating them together and working on workflows. So hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Expect the best. It's James. We'll be right back.